Hi, we're here with uh, director Ronald Armstrong, and uh, we just finished uh, viewing his uh, film, War is a Bitch. It's a 22-minute uh, film, and it's uh, fascinating. And uh, it really has some uh, very interesting uh, subtext in there, and uh, very deep film uh, for an action film. And uh, here with us is Ronald, and uh, we'd like to ask him a couple of questions. Um, what first of all, what um, how what do you think are the kind of themes that you wanted to explore in this film? Oh yeah, well I wanted to explore the theme of civil rights and also women's rights, especially in the military. And because as you know, in the military they're not allowed to serve on the battle lines. So I wanted to explore that in this kind of film, also to embed the whole idea of civil rights, because it's about the clones versus the humans, and the clones don't have the same rights that humans does. So they. They're kind of like uh, protesting and a civil war breaks out so they can actually get equal rights. So you wanted to approach these uh, very hot button issues and topics, um, but place it in the context of a, a future setting so that it's more kind of approachable and you could explore deeper aspects of it? Oh, exactly, yes. Because, you know, one thing you want to do as a science fiction writer is like, you want to take some type of contemporary subject matter and kind of marry that with a science fiction theme as a, kind of like an allegory. And that way it has kind of like a greater meaning to the audience, but also it takes some... You can do certain things with scientific theme that you can't do with um, modern-day contemporary themes. You can push the envelope a bit. So how about uh, in terms of uh, how did you explore those themes with the specific characters in the film, like uh, Hope and her mother, mm -hmm. and uh, like let's say the president, let's say that that uh, that triangle there. Yeah. Well, it was interesting because uh, what I wanted to show was a mother, uh, you know, how two characters who are kind of like related, um, how they would deal with a war situation and serving. In, in the military and how the whole dynamic turns out. Um, the idea is, it, the film plays a lot about identity crisis and, and what makes a person human. Um, so we really get into the whole aspect of human rights, civil rights, um, who are you really, and questioning the fact of um, hatred. You know, why do we hate certain groups, why do we hate certain people, and kind of like re-evaluating re that and not going along with what society has told you to think about certain groups, but actually forming your own opinion and your own identity at the same time. Well, Ronald, I could say that you did a great job. Thank you. And it's a very fascinating film, and it's beautifully shot. Uh, thank thank you. you very much for your time. Thank you. And uh, good luck with it, taking it on the road. I understand you're going to be away for several months. Yeah, we're going to go hit the film festival, uh, excuse me, film festival circuit up until February. So. Great. And this was the first uh, premiere showing here in Astoria. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you.